got my man Tiger up here. What up, man? What What's up, problem? son? You know, I had to come check you out. I see you brought a bit of Vegas with you up here today. Huh? Got Molly Mar in the building. God what's damn. Up, well, why y'all didn't bring the Tiger up here? I want to see like that fucking <laughs> rawr in the studio, man. <laughs> <laughs> what's up with that cover, though? Is he the reason you got the animals and all that shit in your shit? Oh, man, I think it's just it's just something that's royal. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. very spiritual. It just brings, um, you know, just that king life. When you see it, you feel me? I'm glad it's real because I thought it was like I thought it was like you know like hooked up. Like a lot, you know. of, a lot of people thought it was Photoshop. Man. Yeah, but because when you open the like, album, you see like the oh, real that shot. Real. That's why I put the um I had to put the trailer out and show motherfuckers like the the know, whole fucking view, yeah, right? Right. You weren't scared when you saw that shit, like. Nah, man. I was just I was just like really amazed by it. You feel me? Just like damn. It's that like, shit didn't jump up like you were like oh shit. It like, jumped up a few times, you nah. know what I'm saying? But <laughs> they kept feeding it like raw meat and stuff. So get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? Raw meat. Yo, you hear this shit, Reef? Where Reef at, man? It's my headphones, B. Yeah, I can hear you though. All right. They said they gave her the tiger raw meat. Yeah. At the Every time he get up, they just throw a mistake. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Hotel yeah. California, man, came out April 9th, huh? A couple of days ago, yep. and that's a good look right there. And I see it's like a mixture of you—you you, you mix kind of like the Bay and LA with a little bit of New York influence in there. Um, I see you got like Jada Kiss, like you know. Yeah, I man, I just I just did what felt right. You feel me? And um, it was a real. I wanted to do it for Cali. You feel me? A lot mm. of because a lot of people, you know, places I go overseas and like you said Australia and all that, they really don't know that I'm from California, from LA. Oh, okay. a lot of people don't know that. Like, so I really wanted to attach that to my next project. And all the hits you've had, is is it Bay influenced or that's original LA? Like all the, cause you know, a lot of the beats are like um, high I don't know. I mean, I li- like, I would say, you know, LA is more relaxed. So it's not like, it's, my music is real hype, but mm. it's like hype to a point, to, but it's still like relaxed though. You feel me? Like it's hard, it's hard to explain. Like the Bay is more like, they more turned up. Like I think it's like, like the BPM. Like it's like, yeah, you know, it's just, you, it's the right, it's, it's the right tempo. You know what I'm saying? Because L.A., like, we real chill, laid back, you know what I'm saying? But we turn up, though. Yeah, but I see women go crazy when this shit, because, you know, when you transition from one record to the next and you play, like, dun, 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 it's like, ah! It's like everybody gets wet automatic. Even dudes. Yeah. <laughs> no homo. But what, are you checking? Dudes be like, oh! <laughs> like <laughs> is, is there a specialist that come to the studio, like, that, that gets the high, like, the intro's got to be big? What, what before? you Because you, you, you seem to choose records with big intros, and then you start killing it. I never saw like I, a regular. I don't know. That's just I. That's just my formula. I think, man. Like okay. when you when you first hear a song, like the first, because like people's attention span is short. I know I am. Man. Like if I listen to somebody else's song, like the first five ten seconds, I'm, I'm like, all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's your first impression. So I feel like that intro is like it warm them up. You know what I'm saying? It's like pregame. You feel me? And then when the beat drop. Yo, before you came in here, I was playing Bubble Butt. I like that record, man. That's um Major Laser, yo. That's a uh, Diplo. Yeah, Diplo. I think that's his project. He, I did that for him a minute ago. He hit me up. I guess he finally leaked it, but yeah. it was like crazy. Like we had the porn star going crazy to that shit earlier. That's man. funny. I'm not gonna say I got I head on Bruno there. Mars is on that joint too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bruno, <laughs> Bruno Mars, Mars is on that, is on that song. Yeah. Are, are you are you heading that route to be like pop, or are you just letting it organically flow? Nah, I mean they got to check. All right. What, what do you what do you consider yourself right now? Are you consider crossover or you're still like, you know, the, the street I don't know. guy? I really don't know. You never bro. examine like, just, who you are, and you're like, all right, this is me. I, I really don't know, man. I just I just do me. Like okay. you know, what I'm saying like, I'm not. If I was on the outside looking at myself, then I'd be like, all right. But I'm just. It's kind of hard when you are that person. You feel me? Yeah. Can you uh, give me a quick list of like? The, the cats out there, that's, I know I said YG. And I, I said, said YG, I said, problem. Can you give me like two other cats out there that DJs must have? In like order, as far as in the club or just artists? Yeah, in the like club, because, you know, that's where it counts, man. Like bitches, fucking, you know, <laughs> moisture. I don't yeah. give a fuck about nowhere else. Um, Who else you got in the club? That's <laughs> from the West Coast. I mean, problem is problem is killing it right now. Mm. You got uh, Joe Moses. You got, um, it's a lot of dudes, man, but. I mean, it's not a lot of people that's in Who's the that? club. Dun, 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 dun. What's that song? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be bugging out on there, man. Yeah, you turning up to that. Yeah. But that's ill that you, are you creating like your own crew the way, uh, you know, like Kendrick Lamar got his old crew ASAP and all the, nah, are man, you guys I think, doing out there? Y'all doing nah, that out there? No, we don't really got a crew. I think just, we just showing that camaraderie. It's like, all right, I got a, I got a song, hop on it. And you okay. know what I'm saying? We just do it like that, I feel like. You know, Rocco's coming up here. He was asking if you could get on his remix. <clears throat> yeah, man. I'm you don't just... mind getting on that? <clears throat> nah, man. It's a dangerous I'm, I'm record to get, to get on right that's, now. That, <laughs> that shit hot, though. Okay, well, hey, that's the hottest that record hot, out man. there. Let's do it, man. 
He, he that shit hot. Okay. That shit hot. All right. I, 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 he's coming up right after this. Don't he make me know it. He might explode like. <laughs> uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, one of my favorite joints is the diss song. I like that record, man. That's dope, Can you man. explain that song, please? Because that shit is hard. Um, Cool and Dre produced it. Um, it's just it, it's a real hip hop record. You know what I'm saying? And, but it's uh, like subliminal too, because I'm trying to figure out: is it a diss record or is it, <laughs> right, is it, right? Or is this That's record? Why I called it this song. You it's know what I'm like, saying? It's just I think it, I just made it real clever. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like really entitled to anybody. It was just more f- for the general public. You know what I'm saying? And people to people who ever felt a certain type of way about me. All, all these new joints off the the Hotel California, are you going to be performing it overseas or are you, you still going to be? I'm still putting the show together now. So okay. Like, you know, I'm just I'm just now seeing what people like. Oh, I like this song. Like, so it's really hard because usually when you put out an album, you know, like people are like, no, nah, he got that joint right there going to go. Mm. Like every song is like going to go. So I really don't know what's the next single or nothing like that. So Yeah, because it just came out. So you're just like yeah. letting it marinate yeah. out there. Yeah. Are, are you tired of Rack City yet? It seems like not going anywhere. <laughs> Um. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm tired of performing the song for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's He's like, not tired I mean, of I can't. The checks. <laughs> yeah, you never tired of checks, but it's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I like performing though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of joints that I perform. You know, like that. That still give that same effect. You know what I'm saying? I just like to keeping it. I like keeping it always fresh and new though. You know. Okay. I can't believe oh, you came a long way from the the two thousand dollar gigs in Germany. And, oh man! Because you were out there, you were like fuck this. Shit. I was out there for a minute before yeah. I had anything. You thought wait, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you didn't want to wait your turn, man. Yeah. You were like I'm out of here, man. I think it's better like that to to let the fans grow with you instead mm. of like you know you just being big and now they seeing you for the first time. They see your struggle, what you came from. You know what I'm saying? It's organic. I got a question from Twitter. Do you have like a treasure chest in your house? Because all that jewelry on that cover, man, that shit is like, do you have like a chest? Like, you're like a pirate or something? Like, <laughs> the fuck? That T Raw. I, I thought you were going to bring me a T Raw ring, man. <laughs> I want one of those right there. Should I make one? I don't know. I don't want to be like, I'm sweating you. Oh, man. We, you know. <laughs> I feel like a loser, bro. I don't it. know, man. <laughs> Gold bricks, man. Gold bricks. Yeah. That's what it's about. Yo, your sneaker, man, sold out in a couple seconds, man. Like, yo, what's the, up with that? The like, Cheetah one sold out in 30 minutes. The red and blue ones, they they sold out in like the first day. They're called T Raws also. T Raws, right? yeah. Okay. So what was it? There's like long lines, people going crazy? It's crazy. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> 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 it's crazy, man. But what it is, is like it's like, you know the you know, I think it's just the whole overall style, like people that that um that like my style and just, you know, everything that you I do. You approved all that. Like, yeah, I, I actually ideas. designed all them. Oh, okay. Good. Design. We got like fifteen pair dropping this year, like Damn. one every month. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 real good. You feel Yo, me? I'm a size eleven. Yo, Reef, man. What size eleven point five, buddy? Yeah. Shit. I would love to see a Reef with some T Rolls. Wow, that'd be kinda yeah. ill. Yeah. And the thing own. about them, like they real comfortable too. Like oh, so bro? when people put them on, it's like they they're real comfortable. Why Jadakiss, man? Why why'd you choose Jadakiss out of everybody in New York? That was kinda ill. Or is um, it a relationship or <sighs> Jada, um he had sent me something that I was I was supposed to do for him. Like a minute ago, but I was on the road, so I never got a chance to do it. And I was like, I owe him that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Right. Even him reaching out and um, wanting to do something with me. So I was like, it just it just made sense. Like, I, I could just hear it. I felt like Jada Kiss has always been one of the best East Coast um, rappers to me, wow. New York rappers. I've always been a fan of him. Just his flow, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the stuff that he talked about, but his flow was always just raw to me. You feel me? And mm-hmm. um, I just thought it would be dope to put him on some West Coast shit. I see you got the boss on there. Lil Wayne is on there. You know, of course you can't. Does, does he still approve your projects, or you know, it's all good? He Wayne don't you? even care, man. Yeah, he... <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you're doing, blood. Just for real? yeah, do yeah. it. You feel I ain't me? Got no worries. You know what I'm saying? He's support whatever. He ain't tripping. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Did, 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 did he hear? I mean, he heard it. Obviously, he... yeah, he fucked with that joint. Wow. So we're gonna shoot that. That's actually the first, the first song on the album. I okay. put him on. So as soon as people put the album in, straight turn up like, all right, it's bang. Were you one of the visitors when he was in? Uh, yeah, LA? I actually visited him the um the last day before he checked out. He was on his feet. It was, was cool, right? He was chilling. Like it was. He was. Heard the media kind of like oh, deep. Yeah, you know the media. Like yeah. you know, they just they mad. They couldn't. They couldn't get in there and see actually see him. What it is? They really just be fans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fan haters. So uh, you you backed up uh, Rick Ross's situation with his with the record with Rocco. I mean, you know, freedom of speech is a big thing out there. I didn't say I backed it up. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> okay, so uh, what no, is it? Somebody you, asked me, how do I feel about it? And I said, um, you know, it is freedom of speech. Whatever you do, you should always 
um, be able to suffer. I mean, you should always be able to be ready for the consequences oh, okay, of whatever yeah. you do. You know what I'm saying? But I would never like promote um, whatever it is they say. Oh, okay. Just when you start becoming bigger, more to the mainstream, and you start dealing with these corporate companies and these people, they don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't really don't under, they don't understand the lifestyle that the artist really lives. You know what I'm mm. saying? They just see the TV stuff, just like the fans. So, I mean, sometimes you just got to be careful what you do and just choose your, you know. Coming from L.A., like, like come on, bitch is like the biggest. <laughs> come on, bitch. All right, I mean, that was like, you know. Snoop went through hell with that. Right, him, Pac, and Easy, like they went through all that shit. So. But they don't understand, like, bitches to us is fucking whores. It's like, we're not talking about the nice girl. That, yeah, I'm not like just trying you know, to just disrespect any yeah. thing, you feel me? But it's like, b- girls call other girls bitches, so it's like, <laughs> too short you know what I'm saying? Like. Too short one six times platinum saying that word, bitch. <laughs> I mean, it's just a freedom of speech. Like, I mean, you know, you you make a love song and nobody like goes crazy. Oh, he's in love. Da da da. Nah. Uh, yeah, so it's like you know. It's funny. Uh, yeah. Molly brought up too short, man. What was your reaction when you saw him speeding from the cops? Like, that shit was ill, man. You saw That's that crazy. shit. He was. Talking, we was just talking he about call, that. He, he called. He called my show after. What, that. what happened? I didn't even see. I he didn't even really know what happened. I saw. I saw what happened. He ran. And he hit the door. Yeah, he's that cop door. <laughs> but but he tried to run. He he literally lived across the street from where they try to lock him up. So he's he tried to, trying run, to go he's, to the crib. He's trying to run and lock the, the door. <laughs> <laughs> but he tripped and it. it was like you know, sure he you know, OG sure though. Do. You know you know what to do. He, you know he, you know running running you know run the stash. Because I had to, I did a <laughs> I, I, I did a running from the cops mix with all two short joints. Like and then he <laughs> called up. He heard it. He was bugging out. Then he told oh, us what crazy. happened. So you know, it's good that people are they're cool with it. But yeah. but the video was like, come on, that's like too short, man. Like, that shit was crazy. <laughs> you see the video of who kept getting locked up? I'm not. I'm well, not well. running from the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck that. You said fuck that, right? <laughs> yeah, nah, them niggas beat me up in the alley, and then they were like, what happened to that nigga? Like, I'm cool. <laughs> what you need? You need to see my license. You need to see- okay, here we go. Ever gonna be like an Easy E type record coming out soon, or have you done an Easy E record? Or anything? um, nah, I haven't done nothing. I That'd be kind of hell right there, you know. Since you yeah. had all these influences in the album, that's why I'm asking. Because I heard they was working on that NWA movie though. Oh shit! I heard, I um I read I read for that. Get the fuck out of yeah. here! Yeah, you could be like Tupac or something. Right? <laughs> this nigga say you look like Tupac, right? <laughs> you nobody could be Tupac. Man. <laughs> you could be Tupac, man. You're acting, man. <laughs> my, my daddy, my real daddy, actually knew him. Oh, get out of here, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's, the- it's stories with that, man. It's stories with Pac. Pac was all over LA. He knows a lot of people um, that I was affiliated with. So It's so weird because if you watch a lot of old West Coast videos with the classic artists, mm-hmm. like, you'd you be surprised, like, the videos he was just in. Like, he was shooting pool and some old that's, I mean, that's LA, too. Like, yeah. LA, we just, you might see like, such and such at a house party. You might go here, and, you know, it's LA so small. Mm. You know I mean? Yo, before you get the fuck out of here, what are you targeting with your album? The bitches only, or because I know you love the moisture out there. Like, really, what? just tour, man. I, I made I made a lot of songs. I made songs that I I wanted to perform. You know what I'm saying? Because I'd always be like, <clears throat> people be having twenty songs, but then they only perform like two, three joints, and then the rest they do features. And yeah. so I really made an album that I wanted to be able to perform and fit in my show. Oh, okay, you know what I'm saying because my shows be turned up, so I wanted to make an album like that. Is there a name for that style of beat though? That ding, 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 ding. is there a style? For, is there a name for that? <laughs> I don't know, man. These, it's are just, dumb, it's these are the Twitter questions I'm getting all the time. I don't so know, Tiger man. comes up there. What, what's the style of that beat? I think just mustard, man. Like he just he. I don't, How did you guys hook up? Um, mustard used to like DJ like house parties in LA when he was in high school. So he always been on the scene like in the house party scene. It's just I think it's I really think the sound came from house parties. Like really, like you know what I'm saying and um like jerk music and all that stuff like that like it's just dancing like you know yeah man i could imagine you like in the clubs going crazy like wiggling and, they be, they be, i mean they right? be turning up in the club though for sure how you dance to them shits when your shit is on i know you dance with crazy chilling people. man yeah I'm chilling. come on man you don't dance on. he just boogie. Really dance. for real dance, he boogie, yeah. how does he do high impact music and don't dance like i rap man i was just, right there like a mexican or something, about right? the energy, <laughs> i got no but that's another thing though like I got a lot of Mexican fans, man. A lot of Spanish fans. Crazy, right? Yeah. A lot of them. Damn, a lot man. of them. Yeah. You ever like uh, how many tattoos is out there? You ever see like the wild tiger tattoos? Like what? What do they I seen like like yeah, fans like they got my name like tattoos. Rack City, like, tattoos. They got like Last King tattoos, YMCB tattoos. I see that all the time. How about the haters? Uh, you gonna put a bit a middle finger album out like just? <laughs> cause I know you get a lot of haters. I for, think it's just because like, of your success. You know, I, that's I, why I, I try understand. not to. I, not, I try not to flex too hard on Instagram. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
fuck, this nigga got another car. You know what I'm saying? Like, I try not to flex too hard because it's like, you know, motherfuckers be going through shit and I ain't trying to flex on nobody. But I see shit, I'm just I'm just living my life, though. You feel me? Like, I'm sorry. Like, if my success hurts motherfuckers. Like, yeah, I, can't, I, mean, I can't control that. You feel me? Your tour is going to be out of control, man, overseas, man. Yeah, it's, I think it, like, it's already halfway sold out. Yeah. Like, so I, I, I may have to just stop through, you know? Yeah. You got to come, man. It's going to be crazy. Australia Australia was crazy. I just <laughs> went out there with Nikki not too long ago. The, the, now we're going crazy. out there. So hopefully I get some of your residue out there. Sh- you know Australia's nice, man. Yeah, I know. Shit. Damn. Speaking of uh, schedules, uh, uh, Drake and Nicki Minaj, you didn't, you didn't schedule them for this album, or you got them on some remix? <clears throat> um, Nicki, I had sent her a joint, but um, like by the time I already had finished it, like she had, she was about to get it to me too late, and okay. I was like, I don't really know if I want you on that song, so I just didn't want to put them on anything, like nothing that I had really fit. You know what I'm saying? So I just with the whole concept of the right, right, right. Okay. Like I just like I really put artists on songs that I felt like that they fit on. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't want to like, all right, I got this connect. I'm going to hit this person up and just get the verse and just be OD with it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, it, yeah. I was just trying to just keep it like natural. So, man. Any surprises? Like any white people out there you did songs with that we need to know about, man? Like, <laughs> weird pop joints? Anything surprising? I know you do mad records every day. Anybody sent you a record and you sent it back, then it'll come out? Yeah, I've been working. I've been working, man. So, like my, I don't know, Miley Cyrus or some shit. I don't know. She's like working, wiggling man. in everybody's studio it's, now. It's, it's some stuff that's going to pop yeah, up. Justin sure. Bieber record. He did a Justin Bieber record I like. It's dope, too. You know what I'm saying? Justin Bieber? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. His, his, him, I think him and Twist is working on some new yeah. stuff or something. Yeah, yeah. But Justin no, I, I just Bieber? Be, I be working, man. I just be working, yo. They People send me records, and you know what I'm saying? I fuck with them, and I knock them out and send them right back.